and we're on. So, why are we doing this again? What do you mean, why are we doing this? Why are we recording again? So that um, I can prove to you that I'm around and that I'm so not So you just want me to use this as jack-off material is what you're saying. What? That's not what I said at all. Yes, but this is the only material I have of you, so what do you expect me to do with it? So just because you have one piece of material of me, you ex immediately anticipate to get release from it. Because you're never around and I missed you. And so your immediate assumption of missing me is jacking off? No, that's just part of it. So then what else are you going to use this for? A montage. A montage of what? All of our moments. I'm making a big family scrapbook. How can you put a video in a scrapbook though? It's a slideshow, which is kind of like a scrapbook. It's very different from a scrapbook. Listen. A scrapbook is in person. I can make something like that. A montage is what you're saying is a video recording and has different clips of a video in it. Okay, do you always have to be right? Well, I am. No, you're not. Well, I am. Okay, is you're the way you cope right? Is that right? We're not talking about this again. Okay, well, is the way that you um, have accepted death okay? It is what it's meant to be. No, it is not meant to be, bitch. You're not my therapist, Leario. This isn't why I started this in the first place. Well, I may not be your therapist, but I'm your doctor and your boyfriend. So, I'm telling you to fucking get rest and stop this revenge shit, even though you need to do it, but you need to space it out more. I'm be not stopping. Bitch, you need to space it out more. I'm making progress where I am. I'm not stopping. At least take off once a day or something, or like once a week. Once a week. Once a week is one day farther away to my goal. I'm busy at my work too, okay? My sleep schedule is shit and I keep going, but guess what? I still have breaks, so. Well, good for you. I'm glad. Are you? Yeah. Are I'm you? glad that you can get breaks. Well, um, I'm glad that you're going to leave me again. I can't stop that. Are you sure? I can't stop that. Um, is it so bad to ask for a text or call once in a while? Liaria, if we're going to start this again, I'm leaving. You're not allowed to do that. Oh, yeah? Not allowed to do it? No, you're not allowed to do that. Why am I not allowed to do it? Because I, I never get to see you. Why am I not allowed to do it? Because I love you. Yario, what have I told you before about this? I don't care what the fuck you say. I'm still gonna love you, so get used to it. You shouldn't. Too bad. So sad. Doctor's orders. Doctor's orders for what? Doctor's orders is that I'm loving you and that is my medicine. So take it or Yario, leave it. stop. Please. No. Why won't you listen to me? Because I'm not giving up on you. But you should have given up on me a long time ago. Well, too bad. I'm a stubborn asshole, remember? So too bad. Fine, I'll stay. All right. Good. Gucci. So since I'm staying, what are we going to do? I don't know, we can have a chat. We can have a chat? Yeah. What kind of chat? Nice discussion. About? Life. Things. Life and things? Yeah. Okay. Where okay. do you want to start? Well, have you talked to Gon and Kalua? No. Cool. Great. How are they? Well, Gon almost died, so... You've told me this already. Yeah, I'm still kind of sad, sad about it. And a little salty, but it's fine. That's worrisome. I know it is. And considering what exactly happened, 
I feel like there should be a point where there are boundaries in that regard. But at the same time... Boundaries also... about a friend dying. No. Boundaries in regards to his capabilities. You mean the way he pushed himself too much? Yes. You mean like you do? We're not talking about me here. You mean how you set a good example for him? We're not talking about me here. We're not. This is different. This was the path that I chose for myself because of what happened. Is it a good path, though? Yes. Are you living your best life? Yes. Are you positive? Yes. It's what I have to do. I don't think it is. Then what do you think is my path? I think that you need help in your quest and you won't let people help you. You know why I don't want help. Well, you know, I think you do need help. And if you would ask Gon or Kalila or me, we would help you. I don't want all of you getting in to the chaos that is dealing with the Phantom Troop. I don't want the prospect of... Hey, newsflash, asshole. We've already met them. I know this. But I know that the more we deal with it, and the more and more that I get involved in it, the more dangerous it is. It'll be fine. We'll Do you see. not realize that? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Stop. Stop. It'll be fine. How will it be fine? God has faced even better enemies than them, and he's survived. So, so is Kilila. So what's the big deal? I mean, they don't, I don't really want to put them in it as much, but they do their own thing. But I just want to be there with you while you do it. Because I can heal you. And help. I don't want you to be involved. Well, too bad. I want to be involved. No. <laughs> You're not allowed to leave me again like this. I can't stay, though. Not even the night? I can't stay for a prolonged period of time. It's not prolonged, it's just a night. The night's different. Why is it different? It's different because come morning I can be gone. Like you always leave? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I wonder if it ever happened. But you know, I'd rather me wonder about it than it not happen at all. So, you know. I'm waiting. Waiting on what? I'm waiting for the day that you finally realize that sticking around me isn't a good thing for you. You know, I find that bullshit because me not sticking around you is making me worse. So. Worse in what way? I don't know. Maybe uh, how many nights I stay awake worrying about you and how you never answer and how I'm worried that you're going to be dead and I'm not going to be able to see you. And that's why I don't want you involved. This is exactly why I need to be involved because I don't want you dying. Wouldn't it just be better if I did? No. I mean, that's part of my goal anyways. That's not a part of the goal. Part of the goal is to require all your brethren's eyes and bury them back in, near your clan. And, and maybe going with them isn't such a bad idea. Didn't you ever think about that? About what I want? What you want is not healthy. You blame yourself, but it is not going to work because it's not your fault in the first place. And you want to die with something that has been eating you alive, and that's not how it's supposed to be. But what if I had been there? You would have died too. You didn't have your powers back then. Then what? Then there would have been none? Well, maybe that would have been for the better in the first place. Okay, then who was supposed to fucking... Be the Kurta clan, like, ancestor, like, the only person there who's gonna be the Successor. Fuck. Whatever the fuck. I don't care right now. I'm mad. So, like, 
who's going to be the person that's going to forward it on? Nobody. It's going to be a dead race. And you need to be there to make everybody have the history of it and make them live on through you. Don't you think that would be better and healthier? I mean, I always said I wanted to learn more about your culture, but you never taught me anything. I know it's probably a touchy subject, but maybe even like there's a couple uh, words or something that can maybe learn some of the language. I mean, I have been studying different stuff, so I might be able to. There's a lot I could teach you about them. Exactly. But it's often that I question whether it's better to just let it all die with me or whether to pass it on. It's better to pass it on. I'm not sure. You dying is not going to accomplish anything. What is it going to accomplish? Putting all of this to rest. What about putting me to rest? How am I going to sleep without you? How am I going to sleep without... The love of my life. How is that going to even process in my head? How is how is Gon and Kalua going to sleep knowing that you're gone? And that you're like a parent figure to them. This is why I have so many regrets. I just... What? Getting close to us and having actual relationships? And actually living for once? Maybe. I just... I just never wanted this to happen. Sometimes bad things happen. You just have to keep living on, even if it hurts, because you need to live on for the people that you've lost. I mean, hell, I almost fucking committed suicide, you know, at one point. Here I am, living on through Pedro, because... Why didn't you? I was really close. I was really close, because I blamed myself for the longest time. For not being able to save him because he didn't have any money. But you know, I feel like now he would want me to do what I'm doing. Becoming a doctor and helping children like him. So I have to keep going for our goal. You know, I can't just die. And I also have gone and clue it now. I'm kind of like a father figure even though I didn't sign up for that shit. And I'm only 19 years old. But it's fine. But anyway, it's fucking. Nobody likes him. But anyway. You know, I have to be here. Because I need to be their support and I need to keep continuing my goal. Even though it fucking sucks. And I miss my best friend, you know. And I don't, I don't know where the fuck my family is. Because they probably died. I don't really know. Too. So. Just gotta keep going on. It fucking hurts sometimes thinking about it. Because you don't really know. Like if you're in the future. If your kids or anybody else is really going to have grandparents. You're really gonna know what the fuck happened to him. Yeah. But how? What do you mean how? How can you move on? How? Well, if I finish this, if everything comes to an end, what am I supposed to do? What's supposed to become of me? Move in with me. Live life with me. Have a family. Settle down. Well, you don't have to completely settle down. You can have a job and shit, but you know. You know what I mean. We can I, have normalcy. Would I be able to adapt to that? After giving myself up In to time, this? not completely, when we first, first happened. But it'll take time. It's like I've got blood on my hands. So is have there... I. You think I've saved everybody in the ER? You can't save everybody, including yourself. You need help. You need other people to help save you. It's not all about saving. It's about the lives I've taken. And I know I'm meant to. And I know that that's 
my duty to them. Your duty to them is not to die. Your duty is to repent for your sins and move on. And repenting for your sins doesn't mean death. It means forgiving yourself for killing them. That's the real problem here. I mean, yeah, some people are probably pissed off that they're dead right now. But, you know, most of them probably fucking deserved it. So, because you are in a fucking mafia, those are all shady bitches. So, most of them probably deserve to die. I mean, it's fucked up that people die. Can't see everyone. Can't live forever. But you have to live to the fullest. Every day. And not slowly deteriorate yourself thinking on one thing. For the rest of your life. Having it eat away at you. Until you fucking die. That's not healthy. And that's not something you deserve. Why do you always tell me that I'm the one who's always right? Because you are in most cases. Why won't you let me just do this by myself? Because. I Why love can't you. you make this easy on me? Making it easy on you is making it harder for me. I don't want to lose you. Either. Well, if you die, I die. I hope you realize that. You shouldn't. I would want you to live on and to do the things that you're meant to do. See, I can move on with Pedro, okay? But not with you. What makes me different? Because Pedro was my friend. I've made new friends. And I've made peace with him dying a long time ago. I haven't made peace with you dying. And I love you. <laughs> Who says that you couldn't? Because how can you be at peace with the love of your life dying? You've got a point. You've got a point. Yeah. I know. You know, I'm not right all the time. But when I am right, it's usually pretty accurate. Oh, Liario. Oh, Liario. Yes? I'll stay. You for will. now. For now? For now. That's good enough for me. It's at least something. Better than nothing. But know that, you know, I will have to leave again. But you'll come back, right? Don't I always? But you'll come back sooner, right? I mean, I can't make any promises. I don't know the duties that I have to the Mafia. Those keep me busy. Just as busy as trying to find the Phantom Troop. It's very heavy-duty work. I'm... This is why I say I can help you. I don't want you getting involved with the Mafia. I could be their doctor. I don't want you getting involved with the Mafia. I know. But the Mafia has kids too, bro. Will you right? We're not talking about the kids of the Mafia. And the kids I did say I seen. saved every kid. Including the Mafia. Okay. We're not talking about the okay. kids of the Mafia. Alright, I won't get involved with the Mafia, but I will get involved with you. So if you have a mission and you need me, you're going to call me, right? You're not going to fucking bleed out on the floor, are you? And you're going to call me, right? Because I'm a fucking doctor. 
and I can heal you. Not completely, of course. I'm not a fucking magician like fucking Hazoka. We're bullshit. not talking about Hisoka in the midst of our serious conversation here. That's the last thing that I think of when I think of serious conversation. Trust me. As as little of involvement as possible. Is You're what the one that I was texting him. No. <laughs> Listen, that was based solely on information regarding the phantom troop he was sending you emojis Alone. i don't give a fuck <laughs> if he sends me emojis that's how he types he's a fucking psychopath it's fine sending me emojis sends clown emojis what a fucking weirdo it gave me information didn't it sure it got enough that I needed. See, the problem though is with the Phantom Troop is once you finally kill them, how many years is that going to take off on you? I don't know. However much it takes. However much it takes. So you would do it if you died tomorrow. That's my goal, Liario. That shouldn't be your goal. Then what should my goal be? Get your eyes back. Fuck the Phantom Troop. Fuck them up, but don't kill them. I've shown them mercy. But I can't let them get away. Just fuck up Crollo. Crollo's an asshole. Just fuck him up. And put them all in prison in, in the middle of the ground or something and leave them there. But it's not like they just put my people in prison, Liario. It's not like they just threw them away for me to co-retrieve. Be like, oh yes, here's, here is my happy home. Everyone is okay and alive. Yes, well, but will you be alive? has anything to do with them. Yes, it does, because would they want you dying because of them? We're not talking about this again. We keep going in circles with all of this. Because it keeps bringing itself back up. It's the elephant in the room. I know this. But I have priorities. Like I said, let me help you. I don't want you more involved than you need to be. The more involved I am, the less depressed I am. But the higher of a risk it is for you to be involved. Who says? I'm a fucking doctor. I can heal myself. And you. I know I'm not a great fighter, but I'm a good healer. No matter what I say, it's just going to keep coming back to this, isn't it? That desire and that need to be around me. Yep. Yeah. Always. Always. I won't let you die while I'm still alive. I refuse to see another human close to a human die. I refuse. Come to me. Why do you put yourself in this kind of situation? Because I like to be difficult. You do. I'm funner though, aren't I? There's nothing to joke about. You are difficult. You're stubborn ass. I am the boar for a reason. Here I am. Back again. 
to my stubborn ass. Rat comes scurrying back. <sighs> Shut up. <sighs> Can't believe you actually joined because of me. I mean, would I have joined otherwise? Did you see me joining otherwise? Can't believe I convinced you though. I don't know how that worked because you would have been like, I'm too busy. I got things to do. You were there. Always. Even when you don't want me to be. And it's like, no matter what, regardless of the stubbornness, regardless of trying to break you away, you always did feel like home. I try. You succeed. Just don't know why bad shit always has to happen to good people. I wonder that a lot myself. Cause shit, like... If I wasn't there, or whatever, but... Seeing you gone like that, it's really fucked up. Yeah. Kill a little bit more worse than me. I could imagine. Considering how close those two have gotten. I feel like they're definitely going to turn out like us. I don't know whether to feel sorry for them or whether to feel hopeful. You said they're getting our bad stuff. They have their own bad stuff to worry about. Maybe a little, I don't know if it's less than ours or... It's different. It's different. All different ways. It's the same degree, but different material. I mean, to be fair, God probably pushes himself just as hard as you do, which is too much. I mean, Killua got to hold him back, just like I have to hold you back from dying. It's like God needs to be held back. They learn a little too much from us, I think. Can you imagine we were their actual parents? <laughs> oh, only imagine. They just got all this shit hereditary. Can't really be part of the Curtis name. Have pretty red eyes, just like you. Oh, yeah, you stop it. It's true. You're embarrassing me. Who is, who am I embarrassing you? There's nobody here but me. Still. Ridiculous. Just that concept is so unfamiliar to me. Getting compliments? No, just idea of family again. I mean, making a new family won't replace your old one, but it can fill a hole where you missed. I guess that all depends on how long I last. Doesn't it? Forever. With me. Nothing lasts forever, Leario. Well, no shit, Dick Tracy, but forever until we die together. Because I don't want to have to bury your body. But I also don't want the kids to be buried. But... Maybe he's a pedo. You would seriously get in contact with Sapile and say, hey man, bury my body? I mean, maybe. Definitely not fucking Tomba or Hizoko. 
<laughs> or a Lumine. <laughs> I don't even want to know what the fuck a Lumine Hazoka would do to <laughs> either of our dead bodies. I don't want to know. No, no, no. I refuse. I refuse to let I that I feel happen. like we would be needle bitches or whatever the fuck a Lumine would do in the Hazoka. I don't even want to know. Dress up Voodoo as, dolls? Dresses up as clowns. Dance no, party. No. I don't even want to think about that. Well, at least he's not attracted to our age range. Thankful on that part. But that doesn't make the alternative any better. I mean, if he, I don't think he want to be attracted to me anyway. I'm not, I'm, I look older than I am. I mean, he's attracted to a, a Lumi, so I don't know how that works, but... He's probably emotionally stunted, so that's okay. But actually, that's not okay. People have their tastes, and his are just... Broken people? That might be young? I don't know. No, power? Power? Power. Yeah, of course. Power. power. But surely there's some other piece of the algorithm that explains... His tastes, I guess. I mean, because he punched him in the face, he was like, oh, huh? I don't know. So, okay, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. It's not straight, but yes. <laughs> let me get this situated then. Mm -hmm. So, if you punch Shisoka in the face, he is immediately attracted to you? And thus has a uh, glowing boner for you. Yeah. Disgusting. Yeah. So you could just be any person and just go up and punch him square in the face. It's love um, at first sight. I don't think you'd be any person because he'd be murdering bitches. So yeah, be special. Have an unripe fruit. Whatever the Disgusting. Fuck, the fuck he called Disgusting. it. Disgusting. A nectarine? What the fuck is Disgusting. going on? Disgusting. <sighs> I don't know what to tell. I mean, a Luke, a Lumi's pretty bad. He's pretty fucking creepy, but he doesn't creepy like that. He's creepy in a different way. And he doesn't strike me as someone who would punch someone in the face either. No, he would needle a bitch. So then there's exceptions to the rule. I mean, he is a little creepy with his brother. I don't really know what's going on there. I'm not going to talk about it. That's what I mean. But it could We're be protecting, we are protecting our boys. Yes. And that's what matters most. I just feel like they're too fucked up, too far gone to even try to fix. So, I don't know what they're doing with their situation. But maybe they can just fix each other. Because I'm not a therapist. I already have my I, I don't need. I don't even. I have my appointments booked with you. I don't need to. Oh my god. I don't even want to deal with that whole facet of. Shit. I only have enough advice to shit out of my ass, so I need to give it to people that aren't creepy. I don't need to deal with a waste of time, or a waste of space, or a waste of anything, to be quite honest. So I'm good. Am I a waste of time? I'm here, aren't I? True. If you were a waste of my time, would I be here? I don't know. I wouldn't be here. Mm. Persuasion is key. I mean, if it was something that dealt with me sedating you or just sating you for the moment. That's kind of creepy. What? Nothing. What? What's kinky? I gotta go. No, what's kinky? <laughs> The dating kind of hospital kink is this? No. Amnesia. No. <laughs> Not amnesia. Anesthesia. What did you say amnesia? <laughs> it made you laugh, didn't it? Stop. No, it's sedating you. So, like, calming you down. 20, 20, 20. No. Stop. I be sedated. Stop. Calm Seriously. me down. Yes, calm you down. Put me at ease. Yes. If it was only for that, 
I wouldn't be so emotionally invested. True. I mean, you've seen me emotionally invested. Yeah, your eyes go red again. They're pretty. Stop. They are. Stop. Even when you're pissed off, it's hot. Oh my god, they are, yeah. I'm serious. Mm -hmm. I was trying to take this into a serious direction, and here we are again. Mm -hmm. I, at least, uh, I mean, is it better to be not serious or serious? Well, I was just confirming that, yes, I am here for a reason. And it isn't just because I'm trying to make you feel better or just because... What's the reason? I think it's the right thing to do. What's my reason for what? Being here. Being you. What about me? Being with you. See, we're at a crossword puzzle right now. It's a three-letter word. Crossword puzzle, a three-letter word. No, I lied. <laughs> what? It's a three-word sentence. Well, then why the hell is it a crossword puzzle? I'm not going to explain this. You know what I mean. I want you to tell me. Three words. You know what they are? I do. Do you? Yes, I do. What are they? <laughs> Just stop it with us, pussy. <laughs> what? I thought of wet ass pussy. I'm gone. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm not dealing with your pussy <laughs> shit anymore. Oh, you're yeah. mad because I've been a joke. I'm not dealing with your pussy shit. I don't really like pussy right now, anyway. Well, then why did you bring up wet ass pussy? Because it was a funny song. That's the three words no. that you want from me? No. Do you know what they are? What you want? Wet ass pussy? I mean, I wouldn't be opposed, but there's a different three letter sentence. Well, I mean, I can do both. Okay, then what are the words? Mm, come up to me. I love you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I can get used to this. Used to what? This. You being around in general would be great. I told you. I'm busy. I know. But you said you'd stick around for a little bit. Yes, I would. And I will. Yes and no. For now. How long is for now? Well, I don't know. What would you consider for now? For now? A week, maybe two. That's a good start. At least it's not a night. Are you gonna fall? No, I'm fine. Are you? Uh huh. Mm. What? You say you're gonna fall. No, I'm fine. Mm. Here, do you want me to get up closer? That's fine. No. Okay. Week or two. Week or two. A week or two. Don't be too surprised whenever I have to leave, but a week or two. All right. Well, my schedule's a little busy, but I'll maneuver because I'm a head doctor and I can do what I want sometimes. Sometimes. I don't want to call out sick or, you know, not go to any shift, basically. So, okay. I don't have some time off for a day. So, okay. a couple of years, actually. 
Okay. I'm waiting for an opportunity. Jesus. Okay. So yeah. Probably tell my supervisor. What kind of opportunity have you been waiting for? For you to stay longer. Or to go see Gone with the Flu. Yeah, the usual. Even if you had better ways to spend your time? Like what? Crying in the fucking bar? No. no. Getting drunk? No. It's even worse. With the pile? That's like every day. <laughs> Why? Because it's sad. You could be doing better things than that. Yeah, studying, I do that too. Sleeping would be preferred also, but I don't really do that that well. You weren't the only one. I don't get much of that either. Too haunted for that. Too troubled. Not haunted. Haunted. I feel their ghosts. I would say haunted. So they're not mad at you, they just want you to move on. I wish it was easier. I freaking really do. I really do. Me too. <sighs> what? Gotcha. Are you trying to find ways to make me laugh? Yep. Why? Because your laugh is cute. And it doesn't appear often anymore. When's the last time you seriously laughed? With you all. That's what I thought. With you and Gon and Kilua. Like I said, we feel like home. Isn't that a good thing? Of course it is. It's just hard to come back to whenever you feel like it's going to be destroyed in the long run. It will. <laughs> Why are you here? Here. here. <laughs> the fucking spider web. You trick. We're not talking about. We're not talking about spiders. We're not. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> fix your hair. Has it been thirty minutes? I don't fucking know. Can't see. Oh god! What oh, ass smack me on my wet ass pussy? <laughs> Listen, I have both. Get enjoy enjoy the full ride. <laughs> the full ride. I hate you. How long is it? Four. <laughs> How long? Forty-four minutes. Oh. <laughs>